What's up? Welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to do a video on how to make beats like OZ or Oz, the producer. I don't know which one he goes by. I'm not exactly sure, but he's made a lot of my favorite songs. So I was like, yo, why not try to make some with his style to it? So basically I was looking for some new sounds for like inspiration and stuff. And my boy Eli sent me a new pack for Analog Lab. It's a little preset bank. So you get all these presets. And then you also get some textures and some samples. So I heard the sample that he made and it instantly gave me some Drake vibes. Just crazy, crazy chords, fire progression, dope sound selection, all of that. So I was like, all right, bet we're gonna go ahead and use this. So I'm gonna try to flip this real quick. We're gonna go ahead and pitch it down three. Go ahead and reverse it and then probably speed it up a little bit. All right, so we pitched it down one in the end. Oz's style lately, it's been just crazy sound selection. Like whatever hits home for you, but just make sure your chord progression is fire. You can just reverse it and flip the sample that you make after. If you guys want me to do one from scratch where I make the melody, let me know in the comments. I'll definitely be willing to do that, but I'm trying to support the homies. So. For this video, we're gonna be using his loop. All right, so for the drum pattern, you want to do something catchy, simple and catchy. Oh, we might be onto something. That's kind of fire. Yo, hey. Uh, hey. Do a little two step. EQ some lows out a little bit, and then we're gonna try to add some effects to it. Now let's try to add like one more cool little effect. We're gonna go to Meta Filter, see if we can find a cool little preset or something. Ooh, this could be fire towards the end. Yeah. Uh, hold up. Yes, sir. So we need to add something so it doesn't get so repetitive. kind of bang with that. And we can have one pattern be like this. Yo, we're going to make this part louder. I kind of want to add some vocal chops in here. Let me find out what key this is in real quick. So really the key to this style of like making beats is make things. You want the melody to be really interesting. And then you want the drums to just be like whatever comes to mind. Like forget all the industry stuff. You know what I'm saying? Obviously this is a basic um, drum pattern. But Oz or OZ, whatever. I don't know how to say it. I'm just going to go with Oz. But Oz has been like known to not be afraid to experiment. But he knows how to keep things simple enough for it to be catchy, like regardless of him trying different things. So like this is obviously mad basic. You just want to make sure each component is adding to the bounce. Nothing extra, nothing crazy. All right, so I think we're in C minor. So we're going to go ahead and try to record some like a little vocal chop. Nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and record the vocals. 
arm the master by clicking that little dot right here this gray make it turn red then alt plus r it'll record it out like it did right here and we're gonna go ahead and go in the audio editor go to sample rate change it to like 5,000 see what that sounds like Ooh, we could do that for like the verse yeah that'll be far all right this 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 gotta go have a second hi-hat pattern and we're gonna go ahead and go to Tyquil and Eyes hi-hat and melody midi pack all right and that's about it for the video so main takeaways to capture this type of vibe is you want fire chords you really want to take your time with the chords like I said if you guys want me to do a video where I make one from scratch in a future video let me know but for this video i wanted to support the homies make sure you go get their analog lab pack that they spent a lot of time on to capture these vibes you really want to take your time with the chords make sure you feel something when you're making them and then whenever you choose sound selection for it you want to make sure it matches the vibe that the chords are already going with you want it to just enhance that feeling and then whenever you have the melody and you feel like your melody is interesting enough because that's going to be the main attraction the melody after you have the melody done, you want to go to the drums, try to keep them simple, something that the brain can really grasp the bounce for, the rhythm for, and yeah, just keep it, you know what I'm saying? Look at how simple everything is. Make sure you go get my new drum kit, the Evolution drum kit, and make sure you also go check out, out me and Tyquil's hi-hat and melody midi pack. There's a bunch of hi-hat midis and then a bunch of melody midis for you guys to start creating crazy beats with. Without further ado, here's the final beat. Jordan, what the fuck?